Hi, I'm Tim Clark. I'm a director with Harrison Clark Chartered Surveyors. And today I'll be talking a little bit about the differences in level two and level three written reports. It can be confusing to know which type of survey to choose and which will be the most appropriate to your circumstances. After all, most of us do not buy property very often and for some people this might be a once in a lifetime event. It is important to choose the right survey and not doing so could be costly, either because you will end up paying too much for a complicated survey or if you choose a more basic survey you might need to follow up with more detailed investigation if defects are found. We have separate explainer videos about what each of the Level 2 Home Buyer Report and Level 3 Building Survey Report offer, but this video seeks to explore how Level 2 and Level 3 written reports differ. This is a fairly minor difference in the way that the reports are written. A Level 3 report will detail the accommodation provided, such as bedrooms, bathrooms, While we do not currently provide market valuation advice, we do know that an additional bedroom, for example, can add significant value to a property. And if a room does not meet bedroom standards, this can have a real impact on the value and saleability of a property. If you notice anything unexpected in this part of the report, your surveyor will be pleased to discuss the reasons why with you. The schedule of accommodation is excluded from a Level 2 report. Both surveys will set out recommended remedial work, but the Level 3 survey will also provide cost estimates for recommended work as far as practicable. Sometimes only a very ballpark order of cost can be provided, particularly if further intrusive investigation is required, for example to address dampness. Construction prices have been fluctuating dramatically in recent years, and so the costs suggested are not market tested. If it is critical that costs are known, you must ask contractors for estimates or quotations. Cost estimates are normally set out in the body of the text, but they are also carried forward to the front end of the report, so that you can see in one place all costs set out within the report. The benefit to having cost estimates within, within the report is that if unexpected defects are found, you might be able to negotiate a price chip with the vendor to reflect these defects without having to arrange for trades to provide their own estimates, which can take valuable time. Cost estimates are not provided with A Level 2 Home Buyer Report is designed to give a high level understanding of a property, but a Level 3 Building Survey aims to provide a more detailed understanding of a property to the reader. The RICS Home Survey Standards set out a minimum requirement for each level of survey. survey requirements, often with just one line of text against each element. In all cases, our Level 2 surveys exceed the home survey standards by offering a level of detail in straightforward language that can help you to understand the issues afflicting your new home and setting out next steps. Whether Level 2 or Level 3, our surveys are written bespoke to your property without reliance on standard phrases which are forced to fit your property. This means our surveys can flow and feel much less clunky and much easier to understand than those where standard phrases are used throughout. While we provide a good level of detail in Level 2 surveys, Level 3 surveys dig even deeper and really try to explain why what is happening is happening, and we will provide a more detailed explanation of the exact nature of work required in a Level 3 survey. With energy costs rising, it has never been more important to consider the energy efficiency of your home. In the past, this has sometimes felt like paying lip service to the green agenda, but the energy cost rises have really efficiency of the heating and lighting and the suitability of ventilation. Recommendations will be made where appropriate to upgrade installations. 
The surveyor will use their discretion as to how far to go in this regard. For example, if a heating system is on its last legs, it would be fair to assume that modern heating controls will be installed as standard by a heating engineer when it is replaced. But if localised heating control is not fitted in an otherwise well-functioning setup, we might just recommend additional heating controls. Level 2 surveys will sometimes comment on energy matters, but these do not have their own section in the report. Typically, we would recommend the high-level summary approach for a Level 2 survey on a fairly straightforward property which has not been significantly altered and, taken at face value, appears to be in fair to good condition. Straightforward means of simple construction, like bricks and mortar, and constructed around 1900 or later. On a more complicated property, such as one using innovative construction techniques or one which is in poor condition, we will only offer a Level 3 service. We find a lot of clients like the belt and braces certainty that a level 3 report provides, even if a level 2 survey could have been offered. This can help them to plan their future works more carefully and to really understand their building in depth. Some might also use the cost estimates to price chip against the agreed price when unexpected defects are found. Having these cost estimates in your survey report can speed up the buying process as level 3 clients do not need to wait for trades to provide estimates. Similarly, a Level 3 survey might make sense if you are stretching yourself and your deposit to afford a property right at the top of your budget. While some purchasers might have a bit of money tucked away from repairs, many purchasers will not, and this type of buyer would normally benefit from the best quality advice to de-risk their purchase. We have a range of videos detailing the content and differences between Level 2 home buyer reports and Level 3 building surveys, but we recognise that the house buying process is not always easy and we want to help to ensure that you receive the best advice. If you would like to discuss your situation and requirements for some bespoke advice on the best type of survey for you, our team at Harrison Clark Chartered Surveyors will be more than happy to help and can be reached on 023 81